welcome to another one of my empties i love to prefix these videos with i do love a good beauty haul i love watching them but i prefer to film empties why a beauty haul is more of a show and tell while beauty empties is a show tell and no my name is ijama i'm a beauty lover a skincare influencer a pro makeup artist and a woman of a certain age and i feel like all these things give me the authority to do what i'm doing on my channel so let's get into empties let's do empties i finished up a foot pack from dama v this was the deep moisturizing foot pack in honey and almond i like it does the job i'm very mindful about single use skincare um i do like these sometimes i feel like the feet just need a little bit something more i tend to use them every six weeks and now that summer is around the corner eh? we're entering sleeper territory their feet need to look I get these at savers they're a pound fantastic now my skincare lovers will really get what i'm about to talk about this is a pack of cotton pads from etude house this pack is kind of iconic for me there are a thousand and two pads in this pack absolutely massive and the quality is beautiful they're not too thick they're not too thin they don't soak up too much product they, they just do the job. I was just so amused at how much they were in a packet. I am currently on the second packet because they divide them in 500, 500. So this just went in here because I've just done a really big deep sprinkling of my beauty room. I love, I see myself buying another packet. It's like cotton pads for what, a year? More than a year, 18 months. And this, this, iconic. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I finished up some aloe vera gel from Akoma Skincare. Aloe is a staple for me. I use it in my hair, my skincare, my face masks to mix, mix my powder masks. Love, I will continue to repurchase. I'm not particularly brand loyal when it comes to aloe vera. But the one from Akoma and the one from Dr. Organics are the ones that I buy and like. Oh, I finished something really nice. And now that I've seen it, I feel like I need to repurchase it again. I really enjoyed this. This is the Iliun Ceramide Atto Concentrate Cream. This is a beautiful cream. In fact, I don't think the word is beautiful. There's something very workhorse about this. It's a simple white cream. It has a nice texture on the skin. And when you apply it, you don't expect much. You don't expect much from the packaging. There's nothing to entice you to, you know, woo you. But it does the job. It has over seven types of ceramide in it, so it really supports the healing and the soothing of the skin, supports the aging process. I love the size, I love the price. In fact, this brand Iliun is very ceramide heavy and I really want to try more from the line. There was just something about this moisturizer that says staple, signature. The kind of moisturizer you could happily use for years without changing because it just does the job it doesn't feel heavy on the skin it's not complicated yet it's impactful you know i like i like i see myself repurchasing this and i definitely recommend it let's do some makeup products as i had mentioned i have just done a very big spring clean of this space this is the beauty pie false one moment the beauty pie flash false lash mascara such a tongue twister it was okay it wasn't bad what i really liked about it was the brush let me show it to you if i can do you see how tiny the brush head is i really liked that about this mascara the formula was not game changing but the brush head was really really nice i don't know if i would buy that mascara again i'm always trying new mascaras there are 10 billion mascaras in the market it's hard to be loyal um i then finished something from w7 this is a skinny lipping matte nude lip color i love this this shade is in honey bunny i absolutely love this i am not one for liquid lipsticks but this is rather comfortable i need to repurchase it again this just got old on me but i have used a lot of it it was just fantastic to also put on top of lipsticks that i felt were too glossy and i needed to mark them down the shade was absolutely right let's see if i can give you a swatch yes do you see that it's just the right brown it's a bit cool tone but neutral 
it just it just did the job for me i actually really really like this i see myself repurchasing it and i definitely recommend it if you like nude lips i then finished the essence lash and brow gel mascara it was okay it's just another gel mascara to brush up the brows it was okay i'll probably buy it again because i like the price it's really cheap i then finished up a pack of wipes these are from tesco they are the biodegradable wipes I only use wipes in my beauty room to clean my hands i don't really use them in my makeup my makeup routine or to take off my makeup i just like those because they're cheap and they're biodegradable i then finished an absolute staple and love this is the anti-dehydration birch water micellar tonic from superdrug this is my micellar water of choice it's one of the only ones i've used for several years i always go back to it i love the ingredients there's birch juice in this there's panthenol as well rather hydrating to the skin there's also glycerin it does the job i like it for a morning cleanse really really like and i have backups i love that it does the job it's amazing i then finished up a candle from bahoma london this is crystal beautiful scent bougie princess scent i do have the fragrance let me grab it that is one of the scents in bahoma london that does come in a fragrance let me spray it in the air because i know it's very similar Mm. musky citrusy fresh girly very princess vibe oh very nice very very nice oh that's nice i need to wear that oh oh mm. some more makeup items this is the brow defined micro precision eyebrow pencil from emiway this is my favorite eyebrow pencil i absolutely love it it is so thin so skinny so affordable does the job eyebrow last forever love these pencils and they have a decent shade range i think they have about eight colors i wear mine in the shade um da -da 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 -da, black i also wear gray i like sometimes to have a cool tone brow love these pencils i then have a lipstick from avon this is from the nude range in the shade cafe Oulot. yeah i think so the formula the formula of avon lipsticks are very disappointing but the shade i've just done a little swatch over there if you can see that it's just a nude lipstick for a certain skin tone but for me it's really just a pinky brown on my skin with orange tones anyway the formula is just not cutting it as i said i've just done a declutter i'm not interested and i don't recommend them especially if you are a lipstick lover and you like good lipstick don't bother yourself with avon lipstick i then finished up the vitamin e all over body cream from superdrug this was nice this was nice i love the size as well it wasn't sticky it moisturized the skin very well it absorbed quickly really really nice i see myself buying this again um decent ingredients there's glycerin dimethicone there's shea butter in here lots of vitamins vitamin e there's lactic acid it's not bad for cream body cream it's really really nice affordable love the size definitely see myself getting that again i then finished up the boots witch hazel gel this is so workhorse as well if you know your skin loves witch hazel run don't walk go and get this this is beautiful witch hazel is really good to soothe breakouts and oilier skin types tend to like witch hazel because it has a bit of a drying effect on the skin i love this and why i like this is because it's so simple it's just witch hazel and glycerin so that glycerin also counterbalances the drying effects of witch hazel i use this usually in my serum step if i'm breaking out and i don't know why i'm breaking out and i just need something really simple to soothe the skin i also use this to mix my powder masks i always have a tube somewhere it's like three pounds i really really like it i think it's also something you could put in your kitchen first aid kit just to soothe little cuts and bruises i like this i really really like this i've gone through several tubes of that and i think i have a backup if i don't i'm gonna get one next up is the eve taylor ultra soothing cleanser this was really nice it did the job it was nice on the skin the ingredients are not too shabby quite simple 
there's some um, oh what oil is that is that sunflower yes that's sunflower there's aloe in this there's almond oil there's some green tea extracts it felt smooth on the skin it rinsed off decently it was okay i recommend it would i buy it again i'm always trying new products <laughs> but if it came back into my life i would not be upset it wasn't bad i then finished up another packet of cotton pads but these ones are from muji these are also my favorites in fact these are my ogs such a big pillowy cotton pad um to be honest it does absorb a little bit too much product but i just love how big they are how plush they are i love the way i can just like really go over everything face neck back of the neck chest beautiful cotton pads i also like that it's unbleached cotton i like them i also like the price i see myself buying them again there's something very comforting about them they make me happy next up is the kaiso beauty hydrating facial mask it was okay I talked about this in my May skincare that I would still recommend. It's not a bad mask. It did the job. But uh, I mean, my skincare is so hydrating. You really need to stand out. <laughs> you really need to stand out. <laughs> now this I like. Let, I'll give you a quick example. These two are both hydrating products. I'd rather you get this than this. And this is... The vitamin e hydrating mist from superdrug it does the job ridiculously well it's juicy skin in a bottle drench the skin a couple of times with this during your uh, skincare routine and your skin will really feel hydrated um i like to use this in my makeup routines that's what gives me that glow i like glowy skin love this i absolutely love this i have gone through several bottles of this good ingredients somewhat similar to the all over body cream because they're from the same line there's some glycerin some witch hazel vitamin e there's aloe there's vitamin b5 it's really nice it does the job i really like it i definitely recommend it and of course i'm definitely repurchasing it gone through several bottles next up i finished the herbal essential cleansing milk it was okay it was nothing revolutionary in fact it was rather disappointing i would not recommend this product it did nothing it did nothing i don't even feel like it cleansed the skin mm -mm, mm -mm. next up is the bellanos skin botanic cacao rose mask it didn't do much for me unfortunately and i really wanted it to do something for me because it has some nice ingredients it's very simple there's clay in this there's apricot fruit powder there's rose powder there's cacao but i never felt like my skin got a clean from the clay i never felt my skin got a punch of antioxidants i just didn't feel like it did anything it's it was more of a vibe because it smells gorgeous it smells just like chocolate with a hint of rose it felt nice on the skin it didn't do anything i don't think i can recommend this i can i guess for somebody who's a skincare lover they like trying new things maybe you have a teenager in your life and they're having a sleepover party you could buy this make masks for all the little girls <sighs> but for me a girl entering her mid-30s i need more i need more let's round this video up with the last product this is a nail setting spray from avon not bad does the job you know i'm a housewife i need my manicure to be dry like this i need to be out the door i feel like it does dry my nails i do spray them and i still give them a bit two three minutes but i feel like it does set 80 percent of my manicures because some formulas of nail polish don't really want to sit right no matter what you do but I like this. I really like this. I like the price. Um, I've used it for a lot of years and I'll keep buying it. I definitely recommend it. I definitely think it is worth trying. And that's that. That's the end of my beauty empties. I hope you find some value in this video so you can do yourself a little bit of happy shopping. The description box will be full of all the details of everything I've mentioned in this video, just in case you do want to do some happy shopping. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Ijama and I'll see you soon.